few days I'm ago, listening. I had a beat up a fight with my husband. Mm. And then he told, uh, then I told him to divorce me or something like this. Uh, then he told me, if you want, uh, you can give. I said that if I give it, it will not, not happen. Uh, you will have to say, then he did not say this. Uh, he said that I left you. And uh, I again said that. Uh, that is not clear. The word divorce must be said. Uh, then he says that he left. Uh, he left me, and then I cut the call. Later he calls again and says, "I will never divorce you." Uh, then. Sister Fatima, I want to ask you: Are you calling to find <laughs> out whether he can? Uh, Are you going to find out whether you guys can remarry or not? Sister Fatima, wait a minute, please. Is your call concerning whether it is permissible or not to go back to your husband? Hello? Can you hear me, Fatima? Fatima from Bangladesh, can you hear me? Now my question is... uh... Well, now he, my if, question is: He told me he left me, and uh, is there be any problem here? Listen to the answer, Sister Fatima, please. It's very apparent and obvious to the viewers that, Masha Allah, Sister Fatima, who is now crying because she wants to find a way to go back to her husband who divorced her, he's the one who pushed them to the edge. She's the one who drove drove him crazy. She's the one who is insisting and bugging him. Divorce me, divorce me. And then when he says, okay, I left you. No, you got to tell me straightforward. You got to make it clear that you divorced me. Then she forced him to say, okay, I divorced you. All the sisters who are watching me right now, I warn you. Of course, none of us knows Sister Fatima nor her husband. But we know for sure that happens a lot. Man is coming from work loaded with problems, loaded with trouble at work, transportation, finance, children, tuitions, this and this and that. And then the wife says, if you're a man, divorce me. Divorce me, divorce me. And she keeps pushing. Don't you push. Think about it seriously. Once in a counseling session, a wife was insisting that I want a divorce, I want a divorce. So I asked the husband to step out for five minutes. And I spoke to her straightforward. I said, you really want to get divorced? She said, yeah. I said, okay, I will ask you one more time. But this is the first time to meet you and your husband. I've never heard from any of you before. But wallahi, I can tell you that the husband is a super nice man. And you're a troublemaker. And if you insist, fine. I would ask him to give you divorce right now. And I think we'll be more than happy to find him a wife who deserves him. You want a divorce? You have five minutes to think. In less than one minute, she said, no, Sheikh, I don't want to get divorced. When you think about it logically, not emotionally, you realize that you're digging your own grave. You're destroying your own life. You're burning your own house. Fear Allah. Fear Allah. You need a wake-up call. I can simply tell you, oh, it doesn't count, sister, and have fun. No. Have your husband call me. Because when somebody says to his wife, I left you, this is not a straightforward divorce. I mean, it depends on his intention. So a talaq is either a straightforward, like you are divorced, or a metaphor, like I leave you. I'm not interested in you anymore. Leave my house. It depends on his intention. And obviously, you cannot tell me his intention. So we need to hear from your husband. And also, we need to hear from him if he's interested in reconciling and taking you back. 
or not. All the sisters who are watching me right now, we love you for the sake of Allah. We're all one Muslim ummah. The Quran doesn't make distinction between a male and a female, man and a woman, when it, when it comes to duties and obligations. Rather, the Quran says, وَلَهُنَّ مِثْلُ الَّذِي عَلَيْهِنَّ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ So you have duties, and he has duties. Similar to those which are you upon me. You have rights upon him, and he have rights upon you, similar to your rights upon him. Mutual rights and obligations. If a wife keeps bugging the husband, and pushing him, I want a divorce, I want a divorce. Then he divorces her. Why do you cry? Why do you bother calling the program and say, what is the way out? Can he reconcile? Uh, his intention was not like this. How do you know about his intention? He's the one who gave divorce. Ask him to call me. Hopefully we'll find a solution. 